And welcome to your Go Market update for today, Monday, the 24th of October. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Go Markets here with your wander around the markets to see what's happening now. Let's check out what's going across the news. Of course, US equities finished the week strongly with a broad based rally on Friday as indices moved to three week highs. Earnings season ramp up is in focus this week. We've got a number of key companies reporting. US futures positive in Asian trading with the Nasdaq outperforming up around 0.8% at this stage to show some follow through on the positive sentiment and Asian indices are trading significantly higher following that strong US lead and the fact that most Asian indices were down significantly on Friday. We're seeing the ASX up between 1.8 to 2% in early trading. European equity futures, not surprisingly, are also pointing to a higher open. The US dollar index ended the week lower it is up today we have got some jpy volatility following reports of some more intervention or attempted intervention from the, from the bank of japan this doesn't seem to have moved the jpy significantly we've still seen it looking weak gold is back to 1650 following the strong bounce of support and all trades at the top of the range towards 95 on the brent crude cfd contract Copper futures are back at 350, also having a bounce on Friday. And we're seeing the VIX below 30 for the first time in a week. Bitcoin is still range bound, but is well and truly holding that 18600 support. And global PMI numbers are the major highlight on the data front today. It is a busy data week, but also, as we've already suggested, earnings are going to be important. Just to give you a flavour for the earnings week ahead you can see here we've got some of the very big players particularly in the tech space and in some of the big industrials out of the US. A couple of charts that caught our eye today it's obviously worth having a look at what's happening with the yen you can see here since Asian Open we had a move down in the US yen uh, but that really has almost been completely reversed uh, if we look at a five minute chart it's even more spectacular you can see this move down happened in about 10 minutes and we've had a move higher really to where we were when we heard that report come across the wires. Uh, so intervention around this 150 was what we expected and that's indeed what happened. So just settling on this while the market processes it fully could be important. And so at this stage, perhaps check out the JPY pairs later in the session. On the stock front, uh, we're seeing strong performance, particularly in the material sectors, so though it is fairly broad based. The rally we're seeing, we're seeing lots of buying coming back into lithium. You can see IGO is a good example of that, breaching that 1625 level. It is off the highs of the session. Remember, this is all time highs for this stock. And so seeing where the candle closes could be important. We can see that significant bounce up and a breach of that previous pivot high suggesting trend continuation trade safe and we'll see you again soon bye bye for now